Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so my life's taken a little bit of a, a complex tumble. Oh dear, where do I even start? Okay, so uh, you might have noticed that uh, I've stopped selling my soaps. I turned it off a few days ago. And uh, the reason is because I've got to the point where I'm trying to sell a product, these soaps, that smell and I'm selling them online to people who can't smell them. And what I'm finding is I'm not selling them. Pretty much sold out now because I reduced them to a, a point where they're not even making their money back. It's been six years since I started making soap, uh, mostly melt and pour. I'll get to this in just a minute. I'm just trying to explain where I'm up to. It got to the point where I'm spending more than what I'm earning and after all the fees and costs and things like that and with my um, disability payments, I'm actually going backwards. So I'm losing money. And if that was to continue, it would be bad for my um, livelihood. So uh, I've decided to stop making soap um, and close swell soaps. Um, this is a permanent thing. It's not a temporary, so I'm not actually coming back in terms of selling. However, I've got a few things in the pipeline at the moment that may allow me to continue making soap in cold process. So, um, for example, I used to use a big slab mold that holds like 40 bars of soap. I'm reducing it to like one of these tall and skinny molds um, that I got off Amazon. And if you want one of these, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description. When you do purchase through that link, I do make a commission from it and every dollar helps. So that would be great if you wanted to buy it. And I'm going to leave a link to some other things there as well. So that's pretty much the story at the moment. I think there's around about two and a half thousand soaps that went out. So that was really, really good. And um, I appreciate all the bundles and things like that. And thank you to the people in the US that purchased them as well. That was fantastic to see that um, you get involved and help me out there. Okay, so what am I gonna be doing in this one? I've never used this mold before. Um, I've been told it holds around about 5.6 to 5.7 kilograms. I have no idea. So I'm gonna be testing that today. Hopefully that will get to the top. Uh, if not, I'll try and get like a little pointed top on it and we'll see how we go from there. I'm going to be using monkey farts as usual and I'm going to try and reproduce what I did on my first ever cold process soap. So I used uh, Fandango Pink and this is Purple Neon Mica Titanium Dioxide. So I'm going to use those three and then I'm going to use a chopstick to do a chopstick swirl. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the first bar I made and then today's bar. And we'll see if there's any difference. There's about four years in between making these two soaps. And I haven't made this one again with these colors. So it should be interesting to see how that turns out. I've actually changed the recipe a tiny little bit. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you right here. And it, there's not much that's actually changed other than I've reduced the coconut oil to 25% rather than 30. Uh, and I've increased the cocoa butter from 5% to 10%. And that's pretty much about it. Yeah, anyway, enough said. Let's get into this project. I'm going to get all my oils ready right now. And then uh, I've got my lye just over here in the corner. And then we can start making. All right, let's get to it. I've got all my oils. There is... Olive oil, rice bran oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and cocoa butter in here. Uh, I have my fragrance off to the side. There it is. Um, I'm using 4.5%, which is around about uh, 45 grams, I believe. I've got two other containers here. I've got all my colors. So I've got my purple mixed in with the oils already, and my pink, and my titanium dioxide, which is mixed with water because it's water soluble. Okay, so let's get started with this. I am gonna add the lye, which is right here behind the camera, out of the way for the time being. Okay, so I'm hoping this container actually holds all this lye because I've never used this amount before. If it topples over, I don't know what to do because I don't have a backup. 
<laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Oh no, we're right. We're good. It's all good. That's going to fit perfectly, even with the fragrance added to it. Okay, so what I do with the container after I poured it, before I even start stick blending, is that I put this container in the sink. So it's out of the way. Okay, so I'm got my new stick blender, which has been cleaned. And I'm going to burp it, so I get all the air bubbles out from underneath. And I'm just going to give this a little blend because it's not a big batch. Okay, and that's done. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. Like to get it to the point where you can mix it up and split it off into colors, it does not take much. Just also going to give that a bit of a stir just to make sure that I've got it all off the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to split this up into my colors. I'm not going to add the fragrance. Although I could add the fragrance. Oh, I did this last time. I don't know. No, I'll add the fragrance now and then mix it in so it's. I know it's all in there. Oh my goodness. What the? Hey! Birds screaming left, right and center. Okay, here we go. Fragrance is in. Now I've got to work a little bit quicker, but it should be all right. So we're going to split this up into three. And try and get them equal parts as well. Okay, so let's add purple to this one. I don't think I need to add a lot of purple, actually. I've probably got too much here, but we'll see how that goes. And this is the pink. Like so. And this is the titanium dioxide. I'll put all that in. I like a nice white soap. Okay, here we go. Maybe that does need all that purple. And if the pink's going to do the same thing. Uh, yeah, that's a bit more pastel -y. That's better. Okay. I might have to use the stick blender on this after all. That pink's looking nice though. And the birds are back and screaming because they're hungry and it's raining. Okay. So I'm going to use the stick blender quickly because I really want to blend all this in. Like, uh, that's the best way, I think, for me, because I can pour it properly. Okay, so I've got my chopstick. I'm just going to do that chopstick swirl. Okay. So that's done. From this point onwards, anything goes because I've got what I needed to get on the inside. Let's get a little bit more of this, uh, this pink out. 
I'll speed this bit up because this is probably a bit boring for you. I probably could just leave it like that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use a spoon and I'm just going to, I've seen this done before. I'm just going to pull in from the edge to the center. Just to make it like a high top. And the same on the other side. I'm digging this mold. I should have got these a long time ago. Love the whole skinny and tall look. It looks fantastic. What I'm going to do is wait until tomorrow and then I'm going to unmold this. I've been told that this mold in particular is hard to remove, but this particular recipe is 25% water discount. And I added uh, sea salts to the water before the lye. So I'm hoping that it would just pop out. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm gonna unmold this. Oh, what are you people talking about? Look at that, that's just peeled away. It just goes to show you, doesn't it? Now, how do I actually get it out? That's the question. <laughs> like I can get it off the sides. As you can see, it's uh, removed itself, but getting it out, I can't just dump it because it's got a top on it. So I'm gonna to have to be careful. I don't <laughs> I don't want to ruin anything. I can see the air getting into the, the bottom of it. So I'm just pushing it slowly. I might be able to do a shake. Oh, there we go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, that worked. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Oh, look at the swirls. Yes. All right, these colors came out amazing. I thought they were gonna come out really pastel because you can see them on, on the top, it's kind of a pastel color, but on the sides and the bottom, it's very vibrant. Wow, that's really cool. Because it's so tall, normally I'm used to a bar that's really, really tiny. These are gonna be huge. I think I'm just gonna cut the ends off first. And, or one end off anyway. And then um, see if I can measure it out somehow. Okay, well that's the end piece. So that turned out bloody magical by itself. Just a tiny little end piece. Oh, that looks so good. You can't see it, but I can. Oh, that looks so good. Even the birds are excited. Making a different line to what's actually cut. It's kind of strange, but I'm just not very good with this. I really need a multi-cutter, but I'm not going to invest in one of those now. But uh... Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. That is incredible. I wish I could get the camera closer, but that's just gorgeous. Oh, and it smells so good too. Second bar. Wow. That chopstick swirl just makes that soap. That is so beautiful.
So this is the last bar of the loaf. Looks pretty good. 11 bars of soap. So I'm going to take some photos. Uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. That's looking awesome. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up.